DHS defends its actions in requesting a quick transfer of a little boy from his foster family in Oklahoma to be with an out-of-state relative he had never even met. We first brought you the story of Little Lawrence hoteling Wednesday night at 10. Tonight, Adriana Vyshinsky shows us why DHS handled the case the way that it did. DHS originally placed this sweet baby boy in the care of Sheila Morgan of Kingfisher. You know, we, um, we play games all the time. She and her family had taken care of little Lawrence Hotalling for nearly 10 months, but in June DHS notified Sheila they would be transferring Lawrence within five days. The question Sheila had was, after all those months, why the sudden rush? I just want what is best in the best interest for Lawrence. DHS receives its fair share of criticism about how it handles the multitude of cases that come through these doors. And the case of little Lawrence Hotalling is no different. But in this case, it is the boy's foster mother who is questioning the very agency who put her in charge of his well-being. They rubber stamp everything. It's like they don't have a heart. We look at the best interest of the child. DHS and spokesperson Beth Scott says, though she cannot comment on the specifics of this case, of the ultimate goal at DHS is to find a permanent home for all their children. Our goal is to reunify children with their biological family. And that's explained to foster parents. Though Scott admits these notices may seem abrupt, she says there's actually months of training and preparation taking place behind the scenes, all to make sure that those biological families are ready to provide a safe place to live. Hopefully this is, this is as seamless as possible. And while it's, it's maybe devastating when you lose that foster child, we're looking at the best outcome for the child. Right now, little Lawrence is in Florida with his grandfather, and Sheila just wants to make sure he and other children don't slip through the cracks. At least he'll have a second family um, that he can fall back on if needed. We will always be waiting for him. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 9. And Sheila tells us she may have lost more than Lawrence when she fought for him. She claims a DHS supervisor told her because she challenged the system, she may never be able to foster another child again. DHS is investigating that 